Hello there, I'm Smita from the blog Smiling Colors and we are DIYing today. I'm making some cute organization labels. These are quick to make and so pretty. I'm using this Tag Maker Punch by Fiskars and I'm making my labels out of pattern paper today instead of cardstock. This pretty paper actually comes from the Happy Day Stack by Die Cuts with a View. I'm using Tombow's dual brush pen. I'm using just one pen today, color number 158, and I'm slowly hand lettering my words. I kept the punch on the side as a reference for the size I need my words to be. I'm very new at lettering, but it is so addictive and I'm having so much fun practicing and developing my own style. Okay, the stencil, the word stencil I wrote right now was a bit too big for the label, so I rewrote it. And now I realized that I wrote the words too close to make the label, so I ended up rewriting them all over again. Now it's time to punch out the label shapes. I'm trimming the paper and now I need to center the word in the label punch and press. I love this pretty scalloped shape. I just repeat this with all four of the labels I need. I have my craft supplies organized as inks, stamps, stencils and stuff. The stuff box has all of the little embellishments, paper bits and everything. Now this punch also has an inbuilt eyelet hole maker. You simply insert the tag in this slot in the side and punch on either side of the tag. I'm just making sure that the tags fit on top of my box here and then I'm punching out all the holes on both sides of each label. You can insert some ribbon in here or put in eyelets, brads, anything of your choice. I'm just keeping it empty and that way the metal from beneath will show through a bit. To adhere the labels, I'm using repositionable adhesive for now. I'm not sure if this is the right set of labels and I might change them in a few weeks. I will then use a permanent adhesive. To finish the labels, I'm just rubbing off the adhesive near the holes I punched and we are done. I love how these look and they're pretty and yet useful. I recently organized my workspace and these white boxes which I bought at Ikea by the way look great here. I have the same punch and I've used it in previous tutorials where I added the words with glitter alphabets. I will leave a link for that post in the description box below. You can use these labels in many ways. You can hand letter on them, you can add alphabets on them and sometimes I've used my label maker to print out words and put them on this pretty scallop. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if this is something you would try yourself. What labels would you create for your craft room? As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate your support so much. For more information, stop by my website, smilingcolors.com and hit subscribe if you don't want to miss any future videos.